Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. So today's clip is going to focus on my personal wish list of things I'd like to see included in the Phantom 5. Now I know the brilliant guys from DJI are probably locked away in a laboratory someplace buried in a mountainside working on the technology improvements they're going to enhance the Phantom 4 with to release it as the Phantom 5. So they may be far along in that journey. If they're not, maybe this clip will make its way to them. But I felt like if I get these out there, we'll at least get a conversation started about it. And I appreciate you guys commenting below. Don't beat me up too badly because even though I want to offer these improvements that I think would make the Phantom 5 a much better drone than the Phantom 4, I love the Phantom 4. I've flown that since release. I've flown the Phantom 3 before. I fly a lot of other types of drones and different models and manufacturers of drones. And I have to say, today at this taping, uh, that Phantom 4, for me, represents state-of-the-art as far as drones go. For me, it's the engineering that's packed in there, the improvements in the software, the crash avoidance systems and, and the software's ability to track against different targets it really just puts it light years ahead of really anything else on the market i feel like everybody else is kind of catching up at this point so i do love that phantom 4 so don't beat me up for these improvements but i feel like there's things that could have been done with the phantom 4 or can be done with the phantom 4 before the phantom 5 hits that would really make it a, a better drone a much more flexible drone and i think much more uh, valuable drone to guys like me that fly it so without further ado let me get into the list i would appreciate if you have opinions about this that you comment below I do respond to those comments um, you know thumbs up are always good so if you like it give me a thumbs up and we'll get into it all right so the first thing I'd like to talk about is the noise of the Phantom 4 um, I've talked about it before in other clips and I'll be honest when I'm out flying for the day the one thing that gets me uh, in trouble with other people around me is the noise of that drone the Phantom 4 is just a really really noisy drone the Phantom 3 was actually a less noisy drone so it seems like they went probably because of the bigger motors and maybe the pitch of the motors the blades or whatever they went a little louder with the Phantom 4. So what I would love to see with the Phantom 5 is I don't care if it flies faster. I don't need it to go 100 miles an hour. What I'd like to see is a drone that's a little bit quieter so that I can fly it in an area with the public around and not have them hear it and everybody look up. And then the conversation starts about who's flying that drone? Let's talk to that guy. The quieter the drone is, the less of an annoyance it is. I think the better chance we're going to have to fly it in areas that there may be drone bans today because people don't like drones. So if you can make that Phantom 5 quieter, uh, that would be a huge improvement for me and I'm sure that you know the the aerospace engineers that are working on that drone can figure out the speed of the motor versus the pitch of the blades and come up with a quieter uh, profile for that drone that would be a gigantic improvement I think it'd be fairly easy to do so that's something that I'd love to see in the Phantom 5 all right the second thing is the lost drone syndrome really scares the bejesus out of me so I put a $1,500 drone up in the air it takes off someplace and all of a sudden I lose connection with the drone and it's either stuck in a tree or it's crashed someplace. So it wouldn't be that big a stretch to have the Phantom 5 incorporate some type of last known position beacon so that if I lose the drone I can actually track the drone either using the controller or using some type of maybe RF radio or maybe some type of Bluetooth technology just something that ties me to the drone so that when it lands in a tree and it's no longer flying I can I can locate that drone I can get to that drone there's a lot of products out on the market today that you can put on on the drone as an aftermarket accessory that allow you to track that and I've actually done a separate clip explaining what some of those technologies are it would seem pretty simple to me that since they've got the drone it's battery powered that they could add that chip or that circuit board inside of the controller actually inside of the drone I should say that if that drone stops for any reasons and the blade stop maybe it triggers it maybe if I lose connection with my controller it triggers it but I want it to be able to put a beacon out that I can track that drone and not have to you know, spend a hundred or two hundred dollars as an aftermarket accessory to equip the drone to do that because I feel like it's a very expensive flying machine. I've only had two flyaways so far with my drone, so I've been very lucky with that. But I know friends of mine that have actually had a flyaway with a drone or landed in a tree someplace and haven't been able to locate it. And there goes 1500 bucks. So I think a last known position beacon would be a really good upgrade for the drone. That would be very helpful. Uh, something we always want is longer flight times. Uh, there's a lot of aftermarket kits out now for the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 3 that allow you to double up on the batteries or use the original battery and put a couple of extra lipo cells on the sides it would be really nice if the new one either had a battery with a larger capacity which is something I know that DJI can't really improve on because they're using off-the-shelf technology for lipos 
but if there's a way that they could either give us the ability to add two batteries if we choose to do that, or maybe have two smaller batteries with two thirds of the power of what the batteries are today, so I could put them in and get another maybe half a percent or half of a, a battery out of it by adding that second battery. So just some thoughts there, because the flight times are, are really good today. They're 23 to 25 minutes if you're flying without you know high speed flights, but getting that up to 30 minutes or so would just give me a lot more time in the air and it would um, you know, allow me to not have to land it as often, change the battery and put it back up again. So you know, that's an easy one for me to ask for. I don't know if that's something that's really easy to do. I'm sure it, it really depends a lot on the battery technology that's available when they release the drone, but it'd be really nice to have one that flew a little longer. The next one is something that I think if they don't do it on the Phantom 5 uh, in that particular airframe, they're starting to fall behind. And it has to do with a removable camera. Um, a lot of their competitors today, the unique in particular, um, you can actually pop the camera off and pop the gimbal off and then pop that onto a handle and use it as sort of an Osmo-like device. The new GoPro that was just released, the Karma product, does exactly the same. You can actually twist it, pull the gimbal off, you can pop it into what's called a Karma grip and then use that as sort of a, a stabilized camera. Uh, I'd love to see the Phantom 5 have that feature set because it does two things for me. Number one, it gives me a dual use so I can use it in the drone, I can use it as a handheld you know, motion stabilized gimbal. But second, it allows me to mount other cameras to that platform, whether those be offering some DJI that are different cameras, maybe a 360 type camera where I can pop that on the drone and record a 360 degree picture, maybe an infrared camera for night flying if I'm doing rescue work or somebody needs to find somebody in the woods or something, you can put an infrared camera on there. So it just gives you a more flexible flying path. Uh, platform, if you will, that you can mount other cameras on, maybe even third-party cameras if you choose to do that. But I feel like if you make that a removable gimbal assembly and, and you give us a handle that we can plug that gimbal into, it, it kind of keeps up with the competition at that point. So I think that's something that would be really, really helpful if you can do that. Um, the last thing would be the frame itself uh, is not a very portable device. Now, you, if you're watching this, the week that I'm making this clip, there were actually two drones announced. One of them was released. It was the GoPro Karma. And there's a drone coming from DJI called, I don't know how to pronounce it, either Mavic or Mavic. But it's a foldable drone. It's basically a drone with a flat airframe that allows you to fold in the arms and have the blades lay against the body. Actually, two of them flip underneath the body. And it's a much more portable airframe. If there's a way that the DJI Phantom 5, which I think will still be a class of drones, so my, just to regret, digress a second, I think the Mavic is going to probably be a lower price drone below what the Phantom is. So I think there'll be the Mavic or Mavic line, the Phantom line, and then the Inspire line above it and the professional drones above that. So if the Phantom could have some features that allowed it to be smaller. So if I could fold the legs underneath, pull the gimbal off, or if there's a way to make that a more compact drone, a little bit more modular in airframe, it would be easier to travel with. Because the one decision I always have to wrestle with is, am I taking the drone with me? Because it is a big deal to actually pack it up in a case and drag it along with you. When you see that new GoPro Karma, um, even though there's a lot of reasons why that's not really a Phantom-like drone, the portability of that is really seductive. And I know the Mavic is going to be a very similar product. I'm just not sure if, if that Mavic product and the Phantom 5 are going to actually, or Phantom 4 are going to actually measure up as far as specifications go. We'll know in a couple of days on that. But if the Phantom 5 can have some way of either folding the frame up or making parts of the frame removable, maybe the landing gears come off and the camera comes off and I've got a flatter drone that I can pack in a smaller case, that would be wonderful. So those are the five things. I'd like quieter operation if I could, last known position beacon in the drone, longer flight times, removable camera, and some type of adjustable frame or modular frame that I could shrink down the size of it to get into a smaller backpack. That would be wonderful. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I've thought long and hard about these suggestions. I'm hoping that they're not too out there for a lot of people. I'd love to hear your opinions on these. Obviously, all the clips we do are for your benefit. Um, hopefully, you find value in these. And if you do, please let us know below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We love to get new subscribers. Thumbs up are always good. They're very inspirational for us as well. And again, as I always say, if you guys are enjoying these, we'll keep making them because I'm having a lot of fun with this. So hopefully you guys are as well. So that's all I have for you today. Um, have a great day until next time and uh, happy flying. See you soon. Mm -hmm.